If you're using a starting soon screen, but not using a countdown timer, then you could be losing viewers. So we need to fix that right now. Because unfortunately, TikTok has made everyone's attention span smaller than my confidence level after I take my shirt off. So let me show you how you can easily add a countdown timer to your stream right now. First thing we'll do is head over to this website right here, which I'll leave linked in the description down below, because we'll be using their free countdown timer widget. This will work for Twitch, Kick, YouTube, OBS Studio, Streamlabs, literally whatever the heck you want to use it for. And luckily, they also sponsor today's video, so my refrigerator doesn't look like the grocery store shelves in 2020. So the first thing we'll do is go over to the Join for Free button, or if this doesn't work, you click the Login button in the top right. It don't matter. So click one of the two, and it's going to bring us to this Login page. Now, you will need a Twitch account in order to utilize the features. Ignore Discord and email because you need to authenticate. So if you're using this for Kick or YouTube, just make a free Twitch account real quick and then just use it to log in. You you won't be needing it again. But just to get access to the free countdown timer widget, we're going to need a Twitch account, whether you actually use Twitch or not. Pain in the butt, I know. So hopefully they'll make an update in the future. So log in with your Twitch account, and then you'll be brought to this lovely dashboard page, which you can see has a ton of different overlays and alerts. If you want to use those, you can. But we're going to be focusing on that free countdown timer widget for your starting soon screen. So in order to get there, we're actually going to go to the left hand side where it shows the scene builder. So click on scene builder. And then we're going to click on the single scene option because we just want to make that timer widget. We don't want anything else fancy. So we're going to click on single scene and then we're going to use start with empty scene on the right hand side. So click that one. We're going to give it a second to load. And now it'll bring us to our little scene builder page where we'll be able to design our scene. Yeah, you guessed it, right? Who would have thought? So now what we need to do is click on the add widget button in the top left corner. So click on add widget. Now you'll be able to see all the different options that we have. And if you were keen, you noticed in the top right corner, we have our countdown widget right here. So we're simply going to hit the add widget button. So click that. Now it's going to add this microscopic little countdown timer. Why the heck would they make it so small? I asked the same thing to God after he made me. But unlike needing surgery, we can actually fix this real quick. So first thing we're going to do is click on the countdown timer widget, which you can see here. And it has brought up all of these lovely selections on the left hand side. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the pixels right here under the font settings to make it larger. But you'll notice that we have a problem as soon as we make it larger. So let's just change this number to 200 and then click anywhere on the screen. And what the heck, it all got cut off. So in order to fix that, we can actually click on it again. And we're going to change these numbers in the top left corner. So if you just want to make things simple, you can simply change it to 1920. And then for the height, you can change it to 1080. And that'll just make it the entire screen. Oh no, where'd it go? If you hover your mouse, you'll see that little box. So click that. You can drag it right over here and fit it into the middle. So that way we have everything. Now you might be wondering where the heck did the timer go? It disappeared. Well, the timer was actually only 60 seconds long. And if I've learned anything from my life is that 60 seconds is not long enough to please a partner. So what I'm gonna do is change this to, I don't know, let's say 600 and that'll make a 10 minute timer and it'll actually restart the timer right here. So now we can start making our changes. Now you can obviously put this to as long as you want. If you have it longer than like 10 minutes, then honestly, I don't think that your viewers are gonna appreciate it with their small attention spans. So in my humble recommendation, try and put that around a couple minutes to 10 minutes around the maximum because you don't wanna have your viewers waiting for too long. So now we have a couple of different options. You can change the opacity, which is the transparency. I'm gonna leave it at max so they can obviously see it. We don't want a little ghost timer, do we? Unless. Then we can choose if we want the countdown timer to start over after finishing honestly i'm not going to do that because it'll look kind of weird when you have it and it goes down and then it restarts when you go live so yeah i don't want to mess with that but what we can do is change the font settings so if you want you can scroll through these hundreds and hundreds of fonts to find whatever you think is going to look the best i'm just going to pick a random one honestly i think that was pretty good what did we even pick there bayon bayon i don't know how to say that but i like it so i'm going to x out the font we're going to leave it like that. That's cool. However, it is uncomfortably close to the left hand side of this box. So I'm going to actually change to, to center in the middle and it actually changes the positioning of the words as well. So I like that a lot better. You can also change some more things like if they have uppercase, lowercase. Um, it depends on the font like this one. It looks like everything is uppercase. You can't really have a lowercase option. So depending on whatever font you choose, it might be limiting to your options here. You can also change the color of the font, but I'm going to keep it basic just not to waste any more of your time. Then you can also change the header, which is this text up here. So you can just say stream starts in or you can change it to whatever you want. 
Now, I think this is a little bit ludicrous. Who the heck is gonna have a timer for their countdown starting soon screen for in days? Like, I think that's insane. Hours, I think, is even pushing it too much. Unless you're doing this for like some obscure event stream, you're not gonna need those. So you can simply just click on the message here and delete everything from the left-hand side, including that little colon. And there you go, you have just minutes and seconds, which is gonna be plenty for this use case scenario. Then when the timer ends, there is a message to show after your countdown, if you wanna put one. Now, I didn't have one, which is why it was blank earlier. So you can put whatever you want, or you can just leave it blank. It don't really matter. Personally, I'm not gonna use a message to show after countdown, so let's just cut to the chase and keep going. Now, really quick, if you think this video has been helpful so far, drop a quick like on the video so other people can easily find this video. But let me show you how to plug it in to your streaming software. So like I said, you could use OBS Studio, Streamlabs, Twitch Studio, or whatever the heck you're using because we're gonna use it as a browser source. So the first thing we wanna do is go to the top middle where it says copy overlay URL, and then we're gonna click on the complete scene option, and it's gonna give you that browser source URL. So now that we've done that, it's copied it to our clipboard. So let's go into our streaming software, whether that be OBS, Streamlabs, whatever. I'm using OBS Studio for this video. And if you're wondering where I got this really cool overlay from, I actually got it for free. And it's from the website that we're using for the timer widget. But I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. So once you're in your streaming software, you're going to go and add a new source. So I'm going to click the plus button and then I'm going to click the browser option. And we can just call this countdown or you can call it counter. It literally doesn't matter. Whatever you are going to be familiar with will be okay. So we're gonna click okay. And then we're gonna paste in the URL that we had just copied. Should be right there because it's in our clipboard. And we're gonna change the width to 1920 and then 1080 as well, just to make sure that it's not gonna get cut off or anything and you can make adjustments later. After we've done that, we're gonna hit the okay button. And uh-oh, it's not showing up. You want to know why? Because we forgot to hit the save button. So let's go back to Own Pro. Once we're back here, you're going to want to make sure that you save your changes in the top right corner. It is now saved, and that's indicated in the little green icon in the top left corner on that tab. So if you don't see that, or they updated it, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you mash the save button a couple times. Now, when we go over to OBS, you will see that we have our stream starts in timer right here. So obviously you can go and click and move it around the screen, wherever you deem it to be fit. You can also drag the corners to make it larger or smaller. I'd recommend making smaller because if you make it larger like that, you're gonna introduce distortion. So if you wanna make it larger, go back to Ohm Pro and change it there. Just remember to hit the save button this time. So you can put it literally wherever you want. Maybe I'll put it right there. I think that's good. If you want to restart your stream timer, the easiest way to do that is simply just double clicking on the sources option. And then from here, you can scroll down and you'll hit refresh cache of current page. So watch, as soon as I hit this button, I'm gonna click it. It's gonna reset the timer to whatever we set it as, which is 10 minutes and boom, we got that 10 minute timer. So if you brought it up, that'll work. And then you can simply just hit okay. Or an alternative route is that if you want, you can also double click and click on, where is it? Refresh browser when scene becomes active. You can also do that and hit okay. That way, if you go and switch from, let's say a different scene like this scene, and then over here, then it will also restart the timer. It's literally up to you. You can do it however you'd like. I should also mention that after you have made all of the changes that you like and it's good, you can close the Own Pro website. You're never gonna need that again unless you wanna make future changes to the actual timer. So you can close that bad boy and you'll be rocking in style. But if you wanna deck out your stream with some nice professional overlays like this, you can watch this video to the side of me where I show you exactly how to do it step by step. So watch that video if you want. My name's Cody and I will see you in the next one.